So welcome back. Let us now draw an involute of a circle of radius 28 mm for one full rotation. So as we have seen in the previous class, involute is nothing but the length of a thread which is bound for one full rotation around the circumference of an object. So here we are going to draw the involute of a circle. So to start with, the radius of the circle is 28 mm. So I am taking the circle. of the given radius. And using the type. Next, I'm dividing the circle into eight equal parts. You can use a p-type and reduce the scale size so that the points are clear. Next, draw the tangent at the point of contact of distance 2 pi r. So dimension here is Two star pi star r, where r is the radius of the circle. So next, divide this line also into eight equal parts, same as the number of the points on the circle. Next, draw the diameters. Now name the circle. Starting from point P, so P, one, two in clockwise direction, three, four, five, six, and seven. This has one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven dash, eight dash, the last point. Next, draw tangents to the circle at one, two, three, etc. because tangent is perpendicular to the diameter. I'm just writing, rotating it by 90. Rotate, I click the base point, copy minus 90. So rotate all the lines, all the diameters by minus 90 at their base points. Next. So copy is must because you have, you are not going to miss the, repeat, rotate the original one, minus 90. Rotate minus 90. So your circle is rotated by your circle is having the tangents. In the next step, so let me just change the color so that it is not obstructing the view. I'm taking P as radius, P as center, P1 dash as the radius, and moving this center from P to point one. Move the circle so 
mark where it is intersecting the tangent through point one. So this point is important. Next. With P as center, P2 as radius. Next, move the center to point two and mark the point of intersection of the respective tangent. Circle P as center with point three. Move the center to point three. So three is the center. Since you have to extend it, extend this to meet the point. After completing this, P4 dash is radius. Move the center from point P to point 4, extend and mark the point, fourth point on the involute. Next, P5 dash is radius. Move the center to point 5 and extend to meet. This is P5. The next one, P6 as radius. Move the center from point P to 6. You can see 6 is the center. Extend this tangent to meet the circle. Next, <coughs> P7 as radius. Move the center to point seven. So do not forget to move the center. Mark the point P7. Next, mark the other points as well. And this is your final point, P8. Now take a spline, starting from point P, and the point of intersection P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8. Enter, draw the involute. So this is your involute, which is passing through all the points. As you can see, these are the nodes. Next. To draw the tangent and normal to the involute, mark a point anywhere. So mark a point anywhere on the curve using a different color for understanding. So, so from line. From the center, draw a line. Next, this take a circle. From the midpoint of this line, and this as the radius. Next. Trim off the one side, that is you're just making a semicircle. And this will intersect the circle at some point. Mark the point of intersection. Next, name it as point N. Point N, let this be point O, center, and this be point M. Next, from here, take N and join to M and extend it. That is your respective normal. So give the text N dash. Next, use the rotate command 
and right click m copy 90 so this is your tangent so i can trim off the extra parts where it is touching and name this as t t dash is the tangent t t dash is the tangent See that it is not overlapping now use your p edit command one okay this is multiple p edit multiple select the objects one two and the involute right click enter enter width one enter so this is the procedure for drawing the circle I'm just taking the midpoint. Thank you.